Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Zena, the Sassy Crafter, and I want to jump on here and make a final video flip through of this boho beach uh, junk journal that I was commissioned to do for a boho beach shop in Forked River, New Jersey. So um, let's just get to it. So this is the front cover. Um, I've embellished it with some sari silk. Um, this rosette here, with, it came with the pearl. This uh, trim with these dangles here. Um, uh, this picture is from an Artie Mays kit. It's her boho kit that I uh, stitched some sari silk and some other ribbon onto it. And also there was a background here that I used that I stitched onto um, this woven, uh, it says paper, it's a 12 by 12 that I bought, I think at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, not sure, but it's a 12, 12 by 12 piece of woven paper that I use as the out, the outer part of the cover. Um, I also glued on this uh, feather and then hung this cute little tassel with this charm there. I thought that was really cute. Um, on this side is, this is from a shirt that I found at the Goodwill. I thought it was very, very boho, so I used I used um, parts of it. And then here are some, they look, to me, they look like shells, so I glued them onto the edge of this trim. <clears throat> this is some sari silk that actually the the owner of the boho shop gave me. She gave me some things to use. And um, this is the inside. Let me just make sure I'm in frame. Okay, all right, so this is the inside and I used that same shirt as a pocket. And this is the inside and I use another 12 by 12. It's like a, I don't even know what it is, maybe canvas looking, canvas, I'm not sure, but that's what I used. Um, Here's something they could uh, write in, some notes. That's also from the Artie Mace kit. Um, I did some embossing. And this one has a hidden, the hidden stitch. So what I did was I stitched in the signature onto this piece of canvas, sorry. <laughs> and uh, then I glued it onto this woven piece of paper. I also used um, a boho chic paper pad for this. Over here we have some trim. Um, this is a pocket. And this is one of the tags that I made. Um, I used some texture paste. <clears throat> and the background is actually a jelly print of mine that I you know, was messing around with some jelly prints a while back. So I used that as the background and some stenciling and texture paste. This is some trim that she gave me. Um, yeah, some ribbon, as you can see, and I tried to, uh, make this look a little distressed, so I also did some, uh, antiquing, I don't know, it's like an, in oh, patina ink or something like that. I added the bead there. Here's some, uh, a snippet, some snippet rolls that I made, so I just glued it onto this page. Some original ledger paper, let's do some stamping. Doily, this is from her shop. Never forget how wildly capable you are. <clears throat> paper from that paper pad. There's a pocket. This is from a book she gave me and she wanted to incorporate this, so, <clears throat> sorry. I, um, I just copied it and then I tore it and glued it. Here's a paper clip <clears throat> that um, I just glued onto this uh, die cut. It says, be brave, here's a pocket, good vibes only. That's also from the paper pad. Some dyed paper, a cute little envelope I made that I embossed and turned it into an envelope with a little cluster. Um, this is from the Artie Mays kit. Here's another tag I made. <clears throat> Using some texture 
crackle paste. Also, the background is another jelly print. And I added this um, dream catcher and some sari silk. I love how that came out. Uh, this is a boho pocket. Coffee dyed paper. Sewed on some sari ribbon that she gave me. More, more of a dyed paper of mine. Another tag I made. That's also a jelly print. And if they want, they could just tuck some stuff back there. There's a bead, a dangle. <clears throat> this is um, actually a, a digital that I made myself. This is my own that I um, layered over uh, ledger paper. And this is a picture of a peony that I took back when I was, when I went to the Biltmore house in North Carolina and walking the gardens, I took some pictures and this is the, this is one of the pictures I took and I just layered it and kind of faded it into this ledger page. Pretty washy. This is the center of the signature. Um, with this, they could tuck some stuff behind here if they want. Um, I would show an example. I don't think I have any papers around. <laughs> okay. And um, yeah, they could just, you know, put some things back there. Um, and then I added these cute little dangles there, feather. And just a bead. Stamp of a butterfly, the other side of that digital. Uh, sorry. This is a packing tape she gave me, so I decided to put it here. To the ocean is everything I want to be. Here is another tag I made using texture paste and the brick stencil. I love the way this one came out, and I just added this um, uh, um, ephemera from the Artie Maze kit, um, the definition of a boho girl. So I thought that went well. Added some, she gave this to me as well, this trim. Okay, um, here's a belly band. Just a tag in there, like a journal one. And I left some writing space in here. I didn't over embellish it. Um, a journaling card, and I added a little ball pin with some beads. It's from the Artie Mace kit. And um, this was a freebie from Cara Brandon. I thought it went well here, so I put it in here. And I did some embossing. The journaling card I just added sewed some sorry silk and an altered paper clip that I made a while back some pocket here and some more tags stamping here's another journaling card With this, I made a little booklet with some of the offcuts. So I did that and added that little ticket there. Some of that trim that she gave me, just added that. And, uh, P um, oh my goodness, I can't even talk. Uh, that medallion die cut. Here's a snippet. That I sewed onto a paper clip and some more journaling cards. And that is also from the Artie Mace kit. And this is a card she gave me from her shop. It's a business card. So I just sewed it onto here, turned it into a journaling card. And then this is the last page with that beautiful tassel. And here is like an envelope that I made. There's like a pocket back there, and I just put a cute little card in there, like an ATC card. So let's be curious. And um, 
And that is it. There's a pocket back here. <clears throat> I love the way this came out. I'm really happy about it. Love, love, love. I love the cover. I hope she loves it as much as I do. Um, yeah, and that's it. That is it, guys. I hope you like it. And um, it's off to its new home, finally. I'm sure most of you followed um, followed me on my lives, you know, making this. <laughs> Going through the whole, the whole process of making it. I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, don't forget to put a little sassy in craft, guys. All right, so I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye.